Good morning, Vegas Fruity here, Cat here, and I am making some breakfast and get the day going. Uh, two days after Thanksgiving here, and I wanted to make something special, but um, I'm not quite sure that I'm going to be able to pull it off. I, I used to make these for um, one of my sons, well, a lot of them, actually, a long time ago. Um, he is dairy-free and uh, gluten-free. And so this book is really great for uh, making all kinds of treats uh, for kids. The only thing is, is that you do need to, if you want to make it vegan, you're going to have to change some things around. Um, these are Isaiah's, and my son's name is Isaiah too, Isaiah's pumpkin muffins with crumble topping. And they're really, really great as far as I can remember. But you do have to change some things because over here, you can tell I've used this page before. There's a little bit of a funky stuff on it um, because you know they use all vegetable shortening and I have a vegan shortening that is put out from um, Earth Balance um, so I might be able to do that part although that's kind of fat and you can actually leave this whole topping out maybe put some granola or something on top that's maybe a little healthier if you want um, but in here they do use eggs um, and so and some oil. So I guess you could probably change it to applesauce and instead of the eggs, maybe use flaxseed meal with some water. I'm not quite sure, but I think I'm gonna give it a go and try to veganize this recipe and try to take the fat lower and see what it turns out like. Okay, so the uh, first thing that she did was put uh, one and three quarter cups of, she mixes her own flour in here, and sometimes when I'm lazy, um, I just go ahead and use this uh, Bob's Red Mill all-purpose baking flour, which is gluten-free, and I'm going to double this recipe. I know I probably shouldn't double one that I'm not used to yet, but um, so I'm going to be doubling that, one and three quarter and one and three quarter. All right, next um, I'm going to add, I've doubled my pumpkin pie spice to four teaspoons instead of two, and four teaspoons of baking powder instead of two, because I'm doubling my recipe. And that goes in on top. All right, let's see what's next. All right, I've added one and a half teaspoons of salt right up here on top, which I doubled from three quarter teaspoon. All right, instead of my Four eggs, I'm going to add, I've got eight teaspoons of flaxseed meal and 12 teaspoons of water. I'm using the kid's bowl here to measure it. And I'm gonna set them until they thicken up a bit and then I'm going to add them in instead of my eggs. Also, I wanted to mention that I'm going to uh, mix the dry ingredients together real well here with this little whisk. And I'm gonna actually add all of the wet ingredients into a separate bowl and then just add them all at once to the dry ingredients. So next what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put into a wet bowl basically my flaxseed meal and two cups of the organic pumpkin which of course I've doubled from one cup and uh, this is doubled as well for to make um, my egg allotment. Alright on a side note I did have to open up a second can just to make two cups because I only had well, like maybe one and three quarter cups from the um, from the other can. It is 15 ounces. It's not 16 ounces, so I needed to add a little bit more from the second can. All right, and instead of the um, oil, the one cup of oil, because it would have been a half cup of oil, um, I'm going to add in one cup of applesauce. I really don't want this to be a fattening, no good for you, non-vegan muffin, so I want it to be a good one, so I'm going to try the applesauce. All right, so I've mixed that all up. I'm going to add in my two tablespoons of pure vanilla extract. Mix that up as well. All right, and the recipe calls for, you know, the non-doubling recipe calls for one cup of granulated sugar, and I've got all these wet ingredients in here already, um, so Kind of have to take that into account. I've got one cup of um, the organic raw agave, but I also added, um, it's like maybe, oh, I don't know, two tablespoons of the bee free honey is in here to make this uh, full cup here. And so I'm going to put that in, and I don't think I'm going to make, add another cup, like a cup for cup of the sugar, because I think this is going to be sweet enough. My kids really don't eat 
a lot of um, sugar. So I think I'm just going to stop here at the one cup of all this agave because everything's wet. And I'm not quite sure how this is going to cook up. So, um, you know, I'll taste it. I'll taste the batter after I add it in. And if I think it needs more sugar, I'll let you know. Or, you know, a sweetener. All right, so since I've doubled everything, I had to switch to a bigger bowl so that I could fit everything in here. All right, so here's my mixture. It looks really good. Um, I didn't add any more sweetener because that raw agave is super sweet. So I think it's okay. I'm gonna place these little liners in a muffin tin and um, I'm gonna fill them probably three quarters of the way. And instead of making this crumble that they suggest up here with the shortening, I was gonna use this Earth Balance Vegan Shortening to do it, but I don't like adding that much fat. I really wanna keep the fat down in this. So instead on top, instead of making that crumble on top, and they do add powdered sugar on this, that's why it looks so pretty. Um, I'm just going to use these little peanut butter whole grain clusters and I'm going to sprinkle these on top and I think that'll add a nice little, you know, they've got lots of protein per serving. Um, it's a, it's better, you know, it's kind of a healthier fat, zero trans fat, you know what I mean? Um, and so I just think this is a healthier way to do it and add a little bit of crunch and, uh, you know, some character to the muffin. All right, so they're in here. All the peanut butter crumbles are up on top. I'm gonna to put those in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes for um, at 350. All right, so I actually baked them at uh, for 30 minutes at 350, and they appear to come out okay. They really smell great. Um, they've got a little crunchy topping. I'm actually gonna serve them with some uh, Trader Joe's pumpkin butter. But um, I'm going to make another batch because since there's very low fat in them, um, the paper tends to stick to them a little bit more than I'd like to. So I'm going to bake some without. I'm just going to grease the tin and I'm going to bake them without these and see how they work. Alright, so here we go. Here's the muffin. As you can see, it's really, really sweet, uh, very moist. Uh, it's really good. I've got almond butter and pumpkin butter on top and uh, it's past the kids test, they're having seconds. Um, and my husband has passed the hubby test too, which is really hard. Um, and then if you don't want to use this, um, you know, these granola things up on top here like I did, you could actually put maybe hemp seeds or something else that you really like up on top for a nice crunchy topping. Uh, but really, they came out really, really good. And um, the next ones, I'm not using paper. I just uh, lightly oiled the pan with coconut oil, added some gluten-free flour, and I put those in. They should slip out no problem. Okay, so I wanted to show you, I've got my Christmas tree up already, um, that they came out just great without the paper. Um, I just used some coconut oil and a little bit of gluten-free flour to grease up the pan and um, they slipped right out um, and they were awesome, really awesome. But what I wanted to tell you was I just wanted to reiterate that, you know, no matter what you're used to having or, um, you know, you don't have to be afraid of changing your foods to um, a vegan uh, type of food. It's, you can do it just, you know, just like I did with this, um, just experiment. You know, nobody's going to sue you if it doesn't work. I mean, if it doesn't work, then you'll try something else. But um, do your best to make it healthy. You know, make it kind, compassionate. Uh, do your, you know, it's kind of fun to go about it this way. And, um, you know, just try to make it vegan. And have a wonderful holiday and a wonderful day. Hi, sweetheart. All right, bye-bye.